Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last posted a long video on YouTube, but I am back and I know I look a lot different. I went from having blonde long hair to now short black hair and I know it's a huge change. So for today's case, we're going to talk about a crazy story that is about love and how far you would go to show someone that you love them. This story is about a couple in France who loved each other so much they couldn't stand being away from each other. So the husband and wife planned and the husband's prison escape and they successfully got away with it. This story is so crazy, let's talk about it. But quickly before I get into this video, I wanted to mention that I do have an Instagram where I post a lot of my short stories as well as a lot of my chill and everyday stuff that I don't post on YouTube. I also have a TikTok where I post a lot of this type of content and where I go live. And I also have my LTK linked in my bio where I have all of my favorites, basically everything that I use on a daily basis, such as makeup, skincare, and my filming equipment. All that good stuff will be found linked in my bio. Okay, now back to the video. This all started in Paris when Michelle Vajour, who was known to be a notorious notorious gangster was constantly in and out of prison. He was mainly getting in trouble for robbing cars, people, and that sort of thing. Michelle was jailed a total of 10 times since the age of 17, and every time he went to prison, it was always for something more serious each time. Now, whenever Michelle was put behind bars, he always tried to find a way out, and he was way too good at this. He was able to successfully escape from prison a total of four times. So every time he escaped, there would be a search for him and then they would bring him right back to prison and then he would escape again. But after one of his release in 1981, he decided to rob a bank and on top of that, he was charged for the attempted murder of a police officer. So again, he was doing crazier and crazier stuff to break the law as years went by. Michel just did not care and he did whatever he wanted to whenever he wanted to. But this time around, the court was not playing and he was sentenced to 18 years in prison, which in my opinion is still not a long sentence considering the fact that he had such a long record and was constantly reoffending. Now, Michelle realized how serious this was this time, so him and his wife Nadine were now planning his next escape. But this couple was crazy because Michelle was not even convicted at this point and they were already brainstorming how he was going to break out of prison. Also, I wanted to mention that during this time, they both had two young daughters together and I find it super strange that this mother would decide to participate in her husband's prison escape when there is so much at stake. Not only would he go back to prison if this fails but she would also go to prison as well and their two daughters would be left without both parents. But I guess she loved this guy so much she did not care. But anyways when Michelle was arrested their plan was that Nadine would take classes to get her helicopter pilot license. Then when she had her license she would rent a helicopter and fly the helicopter over the prison and help her husband break out of prison. This literally sounds like a movie, but that's exactly what Nadine did. She got her license and then she became a regular customer at this helicopter rental company in Southern Paris. The owner of the company said that Nadine, who actually gave a fake name, would go twice a month and rent a helicopter like clockwork and sometimes she would go by herself or with a friend. Nadine would rent a helicopter which cost $315 per hour and she would pay in cash. And $315 is a lot of money back then. It's even a lot of money now, so I can't even imagine how much that was back then, but it just seems that they were both really serious about this. The owner of the rental company said that Nadine paying in cash was a red flag, but he didn't really think of that in the moment. But what I think is that he probably decided to turn a blind eye because, I mean, at the end of the day, he was making good money for his business. Now, while Nadine was doing all of this and practicing how to fly a helicopter to help her husband escape, they also came up with a specific plan on how they were going to execute this crazy escape on that day. So inside the prison, Michelle made a close friend, 28-year-old Pierre Hernandez, who was also charged and convicted for armed robbery. And Michelle trusted him so much to tell him what him and his wife were planning. Pierre then told Michelle that he wanted in on this and he wanted to escape as well. So together, Michelle and Pierre began learning the ins and outs of this prison. They took notes on what time certain prison guards were working and where. Again, 
and they had quite a bit of time to learn all this and figure out a perfect escape. So now we have not only Nadine and her husband Michelle working together, but now they have Pierre who's also in on this and they're all going to escape together. So the big day comes on May 26, 1986 at 10.30 a.m. Nadine, who got her helicopter license and has practiced a handful of times, is now flying this helicopter towards the prison. But on her way there, it was said that there were radio warnings signaling that the helicopter was way below the legal altitude limit, which can be very dangerous and cause the helicopter to crash. But she ignored all these warnings and successfully landed on top of one of the prison buildings. And that's when Michelle and Pierre ran through an exit door on the roof of this building. They ran past a bunch of guards and these guards realized very quickly that there wasn't much they can do. And that's because Michelle and Pierre were holding what these guards thought were grenades. So basically, Michelle and Pierre ran through this exit on the roof of this prison holding what everyone thought were grenades in their hands. It turns out that they were nectarines painted green to look like grenades. So so yeah, these guards were definitely fooled. But in the moment, they thought if they were to shoot at Michelle and Pierre, that these grenades would go off and they can potentially lose their lives as well. So that's kind of where their head was at in the moment. Now, while this was all going on, Michelle climbed into the helicopter, but Pierre, the same guy who planned this entire thing with him, decided to back out and he surrendered to the guards. We don't know why he decided that in the very last second, but I guess he just chickened out. Or maybe he just realized that this whole plan was stupid and they were gonna get caught anyways. Right away, Nadine flew the helicopter out of there and they landed on a soccer field very close to the prison. This is where they had a car waiting for them ready to go. After getting into this car, instead of fleeing and getting the hell out of there, they decided to go pick up their two young kids. Again, sounds like this came out straight out of a movie. Now, Michelle's fifth escape was all over the news and everyone was talking about it and people were really shocked that he was able to do this so many times. But after their escape, something else that was super dumb was that they decided to stay in Paris, the same city where he broke out of prison, which makes absolutely zero sense. And you would think that the story could not get crazier, but only three months later, they were caught robbing a bank. So they decided to rob a bank in the same city where Michelle escaped from prison. While they tried to flee while robbing this bank, there was a shootout between Michelle and the police officers where Michelle was shot in the head, but he survived. He would go on to later say that he believes he survived because he used specific breathing techniques that helped him stay alive. But after he was shot, he was brought to the hospital where he was put in a coma. And after he woke up and recovered, he was convicted and sent back to prison. But this time it was a maximum security prison, which you would think after this near death experience, he would stop trying to escape from prison, right? But he wasn't done. While he sat in this maximum security prison, prison, he attempted to escape again. But this time, it was with the help of his new wife named Jamila, but this time it didn't go as planned and it was a complete flop. Which at this point, if he did manage to escape, I would be questioning the prison and not him because how does someone escape this many times? But again, this was back in the day, so maybe security wasn't as solid as it is now. Who knows? Now, after his long history of crimes and escapes from prison, I would assume that Michelle would be in prison for life or for majority of his life, but he was actually released 27 years later in 2003. Michelle is now in his late 60s and wrote a book named Love Saved Me From Sinking, where he shares lessons on patience, love, and yoga. It's also been said that since his release, he became extremely religious and converted to Islam, which he says has helped him heal and turn his life around. What a crazy story. Now, while I researched about this case, I found so many other cases of people who have broken out of prison and apparently in France it was very common for people to break out of prison and they've also used a helicopter to do that so it was a reoccurring thing and that is it for today's case this is definitely an interesting story but I hope you guys really enjoyed it if you guys enjoy the story and want more of this type of content make sure to like and subscribe it really helps on my channel once again make sure to follow me on all my social medias and I'll see you guys in my next video bye